Well, I believe in miracles. Since you came along, you sexy thing, you, you sexy thing. Cheers, my dears, and welcome back once again. I uh, got the old Echo Web back out on the chopping block. Last time, it's going to go home uh, just in the next day or two or, you know, whenever he wants to pick it up. But I do want to, the things, I've been checking it every day and it's been changing a little bit each day. And it's finally settled down, I think, now. It's not going to change much more. You know, over three months, six months, and, and a year, it'll probably need to touch up a little bit again along the ways. But for the most part, it's pretty much settled in now. And holding its own. I do want to check the uh, neck relief again. I want to check the string action down here compared to the last time. And uh, we're going to go inside with the endoscope today. I know you guys like that. I like it too when when it's not being done to me. The guitar doesn't seem to matter uh, what you stick in it. <laughs> so we're going to go in there with the endoscope. It's up to string tension. And uh, and just let check the braces and stuff out, you know, and make sure that everything's still, uh, nothing's moved in there. I want to look at this brace that we fixed here that was split. But because the guitar was so dried out, and now it's so humidified, and all the things that we did to it, I just think it's a good idea to take that endoscope and go in there, and you know, like I said, I can, you can peck on it all day long. I don't hear any buzzing or... Anything that sounds like a loose brace. I wish I'd kept some of my oscilloscopes and some of that kind of equipment when I used to work on electronics. Anyways, enough of that. Bring you over closer, and uh, well, I'm going to check the neck relief and the action first. So hold on, let's get set up for that, and then we'll go inside the thing. So how are you, good body, or good buddy, I guess maybe I should say. Let's start by checking the uh, neck relief, see if it's changed any at all. I had to adjust it a couple of times. It uh, kept pulling more relief back into the neck, and you know, I should have had my shit together here before I turned the camera on. You know me. Uh, it changed a couple of times. I had to go back in there and tighten the truss up a little bit. It goes under that string right there. That's the only one. That's the ninth fret. These two it'll go under, but it slightly lifts the string a little bit. I got a 12,000 here. There. It's very tight, you see, but it does go under there. These these two frets, and I can force it under there, but it doesn't want to go under those. But it goes under the, uh, what is that, seventh fret. It goes under that, okay? Let's just check the second string for gets and shiggles. Yeah, it's good, man. It's all good. So, we're going to leave that alone now. The truss rod works good in this guitar for a single action, one way rod. It works really nice. And spin this about 15 times so I get it in the right. Now, before, we were at uh, just a little bit shy of six sixty-fourths and we still are and a little bit shy of five sixty-fourths on the high E just uh, it's yeah, it's right between five sixty-fourths and six sixty-fourths and the low E is right between five and uh, this is between the high E is between four sixty-fourths and five sixty-fourths I'm sorry and the low E is 564 to 664. So I wonder what that is in thousands. Should be around 80. Roughly around 80 thousands. It's 70. 70 thousands exactly. And about 60 on the high E string. So that's all good, man. Next thing we're going to do. Let's see what's that little devil at. Here we go. It's endoscope time. Get lubed and bend over. <laughs> okay, we're recording. You just take a deep breath and relax. <laughs> I don't know if they're helping or hurting. Well, check that out. 
I got to see a love letter. Let me get the light right on that. We'll see what it says. I never saw that before. Looks like he signed his name. Doyle Hall. 09-116 maybe. HD 28. Never saw that before. Okay, here we can see some of the bracing. How well it's holding up. very hard to control this light manually as I do this like I say I have lights in there too which might have uh, might be hurting us more than it's helping us those braces look to be pretty good shape still sticking pretty well it looks like looks like to me yeah, when the light gets right on it anyways. God, that's a touchy, man. Yeah. You're looking up at the top of the guitar. Um, there's the... Uh, there is the uh, butt block. That's the end we should have came in with the endoscope, probably. There's that brace again. There's the little uh, voicing bar. All seems to be stuck down pretty well. That brace, that's a shadow I think we're seeing there. It's not the brace pulled loose itself. Because I checked that with a knife. That's what, probably where I checked it at. Made it look like that. See that brace is still stuck tight. Appears to be tight there on this end. Having to manually control this this light sucks, man. Now that brace down there, you can see. That looks good. I wanted to check all these under string tension though, you know, just to just to be on the safe side. That one looks okay. Still holding. See the cleats we put in. Those little tiny darker looking pieces of wood are spruce cleats. You can go back a few videos if you want to watch me put those in on, in this guitar. All right. Now let me show you the brace. Let me show you the brace that uh, was troublesome. This is the brace that cracked. Okay, get it, get the light on it so you can see it. Now you can see that crack right in the center of that brace. Should be able to see it on this side too. Yeah, see that? Should back off from it a little bit maybe. The crack runs right across the center, across there. Now the reason that's shiny looking, that's not finished, that's CA glue. Where I rubbed the squeeze out away, there you can see the where the brace split on, the, on that side. And it was split almost all the way across. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but it looks like it's holding well. There you can see the glue, glue coming out to squeeze out over there. But this brace is the one that uh, that split right there. Let me get backed up here a little bit again. That split that you see right there is why the uh, fretboard extension area of the top was all sunk down in. If you remember how that was. We can get a shot of this side. Yeah, it's holding nicely. Check that out. Has not moved. There you can see a little bit of squeeze out. Right there in that crack. Where, 
where it's split. I think you can see that. But that brace giving away, see it's got the truss rod adjustment right in the middle of it. Yeah, I can find it again. There it is. And that's what caused the entire top to uh, sink along the fretboard extension. Yeah, it looks good, man. That brace looks fine. Can't really get the light on it very well. It's hard to stay oriented in here, I know. It, uh, you know, and I apologize for that. Now, let's look one more at these bottom ones. Get the light man's head out of his ass. Here we go. Oops, there we go again. You see, that one looks okay. It's held down. Oh, that's the one we looked at a little bit ago. I'm going to change angles here in a minute one more time. That looks good there. Nice and solid. Here's the uh, bridge pins, by the way. There's a, kind of a half-ass shot of the bridge pins. It's very hard to hold this camera still on the end of a wire like I have got it rigged up here but yeah, I think it will do okay for what we need find the light man again like I'm gonna fire the light man I got a job opening for a light man if any of you guys would like to uh, come to work see that brace looks good nice and flat all the way down And yeah, come on, baby. Those are fine as wine, baby. There's a brace there. Stuck tight, it looks like. And one way back there. That's a, that's a voicing bar, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it looks good, man. I'm out of here. About, uh, I don't know, probably close to eight inches on the ground. Still snowing, looks like. That's enough. I don't want any more. That's plenty, man. Stop it now. <laughs> Here's what I had rigged up. This is the endoscope. It's got a light built into it, too. i got to get those lights on that guitar. I forgot about them. I just rigged it up on a piece of wire. Yeah, so I could hold it, stick it back in the hole. And you got to get it oriented, too. I take the wire on the top of the endoscope, so when I hold it like this, it's uh, oriented properly. But that's, the, uh, that's why it shook so bad. You can't hold something like that still for long. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the look inside the guitar. Everything looks like it's got a... Uh, clean order of health and going to be released tomorrow, man. I'm going to call him and send him a message, tell him it's ready to roll. I am going to buff the guitar. I have to hand buff it because my uh, buffer motor fried. But I'm going to hand buff the whole thing out and really make it look nice for him. And uh, it'll be ready after after this video. It's it'll probably be gone by the time you guys see this video. Probably will be gone. I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take him to come get it, but I'm going to call him tomorrow and let him know it's it's ready to go anytime he wants it back. i got to get lights out of there. They're still in there burning. So cheers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little adventure. Uh, I need to figure out a better way to get lights in there to do that. Anyways, cheers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. <laughs>
Up and I've been practicing, but not I'm way out yet. But I had to let you hear this once more. Listen to the bass this thing has. show you this. Check that out man. It buffed up like a brand new instrument. Bridge looks good. The neck joint looks good. The back looks good. The sides look good. I mean it really buffed out really nice. That cherry is beautiful wood man. Even buffed the neck out and the headstock. So I wanted to bring you back for one more little tiny piece and show you that. Show you what it looked like buffed up anyway. And let you hear it one last time, because this puppy's going bye-bye tomorrow. <laughs> 